are talking about I am Lisa. This one is directed by Patrick Rea. And uh, it's kind of best described, at least story-wise, as a, a movie that is a meeting of I Spit on Your Grave meets Ginger Snaps, I guess you want to say. Um, so the story here focuses on Lisa, who is a young woman who runs a kind of a second-hand bookshop. You know, she's very much into her book. She's bookish. Uh, you know, because you know this because she wears glasses, you see. Ah, uh -huh. you see what they did there? Anyway, there is a kind of group of quote-unquote popular girls that seem to be picking on Lisa. And um, Lisa then decides that she's had enough and she's going to go to the, the police, the sheriff, the local sheriff. Now, the sheriff is actually the mother of the um, the main, the leader popular girl and of course she doesn't take kindly to uh, Lisa complaining about her daughter so what do they do well they beat her up rape her and leave her for dead in the middle of the woods where she is bitten by a special kind of wolf and turns into a lunar based killer so let's first of all talk about what works in this movie the movie seems to have a fascination with the book I am legend um I guess that's where the title comes from. One thing that struck me that I did like is the relationship between Lisa and the kind of the main bully. And the reason why this bully is targeting her is because they have, or she has repressed sexual feelings towards her. And she obviously comes from a very conservative um, upbringing. And, you know, this kind of repression is, is, is kind of being, have an outlet with anger, if that makes sense. If she can't have it, she'll kind of almost push it away. And I thought that was very strong and done very well within that kind of like by the kind of the two actresses and obviously the uh, director and writing team. I thought that was some of the most subtle and nuanced kind of uh, elements of the movie. And I thought those kind of like uh, almost, um, you know, opposite characters, I actually thought had would have had quite a complex relationship if they had a little bit more screen time. But, you know, the kind of the basis of it is there. I actually quite liked the character of Lisa, even though it's one of these typical kind of pretty ugly girl things, you know, oh, check out me, I'm bookish, and you know that because I wear glasses. Uh, you know, it's... She, I actually quite liked her kind of quite feisty attitude. Um, and I felt that she did... The performance was quite earnest. She felt like a kind of an earnest and, and character. I like the fact that she has a, a very close relationship with her kind of best friend and... You know, people assume that they're lesbians, but they're not. They're just friends. And it's so easy, I think, in, uh, you know, it, it, we see a lot in media where kind of like, oh, they they, they, they must be, you know, they, they must be gay or whatever. Um, but they're just, they're just friends and stuff. And and almost like this, this kind of bully sees the relationship, is almost jealous of it to a certain degree. So that stuff I actually quite liked. Some of the makeup effects, and we're going to talk about that again, but <clears throat> the, the makeup effects, I quite enjoyed, um, especially the contacts that they use. Now, quite often when you see a low-budget horror, oh, look, it's kind of like typical shop-bought contact lenses. But these contacts that they got are awesome. They look really good, and they're kind of a lot bigger than, you know, like a regular iris and stuff. And I have to say they look kind of quite effective. Um, and there are a couple of elements here, a couple of gore scenes, which I thought were done pretty well. And, uh, you know, our bad guys are... Really bad guys, you know, our, kind of, our sheriff and her son, who was also a, you know, a deputy or whatever. They're, they're, they're despicable people. And I actually think they had some restraint in regards to the, the setup. Now, I mentioned it's, it's a little bit like I spit on your grave. But the assault scene and subsequent rape, I felt, it's not gratuitous and it's really more just hinted at. Um, that was quite good. And also, it, it has like. Um, it shows you different types of antagonists in a way. So we have a group of like, these mean girls, for example, and one of them is a little bit more sympathetic, but she just, she just doesn't want to stand up against her friends and things. And um, So it, you know, it shows you a little bit of a different types of, of uh, antagonists here. Okay, but what doesn't work? I think there's some major story issues here, unfortunately, that, that are really, um, are, are unfortunately, quite poor. Where do I start? Um, okay, so I think the, 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 the whole conceit 
of this girl getting beaten, raped, um, and left for dead, ultimately murdered, which is a big risk, seems to seems to be coming from such a small, someone stole a book and then spat on me, which is where it came from. If you're a sheriff, you've, you've got to have a better impulse control of that, surely. I mean, I think maybe a better way would, would have done it would have have Lisa maybe witness something and therefore they have they have to offer it just seems like such an overreaction um and that these as I've mentioned these 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 bad guys these this sheriff these corrupt cops and they're, they're really bad but they are just like way too bad I mean they seem like they have absolutely no oversight whatsoever um they just seem to way too kind of like over the top in regards to uh, what they're kind of getting out of their their dr their de the the door to is the main drug dealer in town. It's just a little bit too much, I think, and it just goes a little bit too far. In this doesn't seem realistic, and I, and I know we're talking about a werewolf film, which obviously you know yes, that's obviously not realistic, but in the world of this film, these the, 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 it just seems too unbelievable, even more unbelievable than the werewolf. I've got to say. Um, there are story elements here that just seem to be introduced and I have no idea what they're supposed to have, have been. We have this random guy in the woods who seems to be affiliated with the, um, the, pol the this police sheriff. But I have no idea what is what relationship there it is. They just seem he just seems to be there as a kind of a bad guy to defeat. Um, what the hell? What's he there for? There's also kind of, we, we, it's established in the very opening scenes, if it's not a spoiler, that the sheriff seems to be somehow hunting werewolves. But it's so vague. It's so vague. I mean, it, it loops around to that again in the end. But it just seems to be like, okay, you know, th there's just not enough. There's just not enough information there. Um, so there's unfortunately some just... I can't. I just can't believe that anyone that involved in this, you know, everyone is just so nonchalant about murdering this girl. Not only are we talking about the police, but also her, the daughter's friends and stuff. They just say, "Yeah, we're, we're just going to murder someone, and that's it." You know, it's just silly. Very, very, very silly. <clears throat> the actual werewolf. I think if you're a werewolf purist, you're not going to like this movie. Um, when Lisa turns into a werewolf, it's kind of like the Buffy the Vampire Slayer style of monster, um, where we just get contact, sharp claws, a little bit of um, raised kind of makeup and brow and things like that. And she's completely sentient as a, um, you know, as a kind of her, it's still Lisa's personality, but just a little bit more aggressive maybe. And I didn't. I just didn't buy that she was going to kill people, especially the the victim she goes for first. Um, it just seemed like she was too in control to turn into a killer. If that makes sense, because if we are to believe, yeah, she's this kind of like this quiet bookish person, and she turns into this killer without really any hesitation and and being in complete control of her faculties. I don't know. It just seemed like um, she was just too in control. It just, it just seemed like if you were this, you would you would be like, and especially if we're meant to believe she's a werewolf who who has this kind of feral instinct. It's just not there. It's not at all scary. Uh, there's no kind of real creepy moments in it. Um, we're introduced to, uh, I mean, I think there may even be a plot hole. There's, there's the sister of the um, of the sheriff who has an interaction with with with, with, with what would have been a niece. At the beginning of the movie, but that doesn't seem to. Uh, they've forgotten about that bit almost. I won't spoil it for you, but um, it just seems that, that, that obviously, if there's a, if this is woman is the police woman's sister, then that girl is her niece, and that doesn't really work at the beginning of the movie. Is what I'm going to say. It just seems hastily put together. Reading some of the kind of the information. Apparently this was shot in 14 days, which is, I've, I've heard of movies shooting in a lot less than that over a weekend sometimes for some low budget horrors, but it just seems that it's a little bit slapped together to a certain degree story wise. I think this has the elements that could have been a more interesting story and our lead actress, I've got to say, is very compelling and there were elements here that 
but w w that kind of worked. But for me, it's a below average film ultimately, and a little bit um, unexciting at times. Um, the, the 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 final showdown is a little bit of a of a wet wet blanket ultimately, and um, let's just say somewhat of a Deus Ex Machina as well. Uh, I'm going to give it a four out of ten. I was kind of disappointed with this because I'd actually watched the trailer and I thought it looked quite good and um, the movie just seemed to be a little bit all over the place uh, compared to what the con the trailer kind of rep puts by. So I'll give this a 4 out of 10. Not terrible, not bad necessarily, but I would say below average. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to it next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.